Hi, I'm Debbie the Wine Lady, and today we're doing the first in our series of wine training seminars. How to survive navigating a restaurant wine list. Okay, if you've ever been in a restaurant with, say, a first date or at a business meeting with clients where you had to order the wine, you know how important it is to look cool as you do it. It can be very confusing, though, because as you've probably noticed, a restaurant wine list can be as thick as a phone book and pretty intimidating. Let's simplify it to make it easy for you to look good ordering wine in a restaurant. Okay, first of all, the wine list is always divided into several sections. It usually has wines by the glass at the beginning. Then there will be wines divided into the different styles. Sparkling wine is usually first, then white wines divided by the different kinds of styles, and then red wines. At the back of the wine list is usually a section called something like captain's list or reserve wine list. You better be careful with that section because generally those wines start at 100 or 150 a bottle and go up. So unless you've got a really big expense account, best to avoid those. Okay, let's assume that um, you're going to order up a meal. It's typical to start off with a glass of white wine as you're looking at the wine as the, at the menu and to just kind of get the meal rolling. So, I would ask first of all, the preference of my guests, whether it's a date or my wife or business clients, I would say simply, do you like a sweeter wine or are you okay with dry? Let's assume that they say, well, I like something with a little sweetness. Okay, what do we do? In every restaurant wine list, there will be something called a Riesling. Now, Riesling is a kind of grape. It's always got a little bit of sweetness. That's what you should order for anyone who doesn't want a dry wine. Do not order White's Infidel. That makes you look like a real rube, okay? Avoid White's in, go for a Riesling. If they say dry white is okay to start the meal, I would go for a Chardonnay because that's pretty much considered the most sophisticated white wine. Now, look at the price list of the Chardonnays because there will probably be a section that says a Chardonnay. Look for a medium price one. Don't buy the cheapest bottle on the list. Don't buy the most expensive. Just look for something in the middle and go for that. Now, you might want to ask the advice of the sommelier, which is a fancy word for the wine guy at the restaurant. That is, unless he's standing there looking at you like you just crawled out from under some rock, you could say to him, could you recommend a Chardonnay that's not too oaky? That would be a Chardonnay that anyone at your table could enjoy. Okay, let's assume we've ordered something for the first course. Now, it's time for the main course. People are probably have, have decided what kind of food they're going to, to uh, be eating, so you could canvas your crowd. If everyone is having heavier stuff like beef, lamb, you could go for a dry red like a Cabernet or a blend. A blend is a really cool thing to consider ordering. You will find it on your list, on the wine list, under a section usually called blends. Look for the word meritage, rhymes with heritage. That is a blend of Cabernet Merlot and some other grapes. It's a great choice because it's got all the richness of a dry red, but it's not as dry tasting as a straight Cabernet. You will almost always be a hero if you order a good blend, a good meritage, okay? Dessert time rolls around. Now, let me give you a warning here. There is nothing attractive about a slobbering drunk. So, if you've consumed a lot of alcohol through the meal, resist the temptation to start ordering brandy for the table for dessert it will just put you under the table. So, the best thing to do is look on your wine list for ports. That'll be under dessert wines. You can order port by the glass, not a whole bottle for the table. Just order individual glasses of port. There will probably be a couple of selections in the list. Just pick one, they're all gonna be a reasonable price. Port is a nice way to finish the meal with your dessert, maybe with a cup of coffee. Then you're going to call your designated driver to drive you home. Okay, stay tuned for part two in this series where we will teach you how to deal with the wine steward and wine presentation in a restaurant. Okay, cheers.